It has been a bad, bad time for Andrews recently. So here I am in America and we're going to check out this tight dock, tighty docky. All right, let's watch it on YouTube because the, the window is a bit bigger. On December 29th, he and his brother were arrested by Romanian police as part of a rape and human trafficking investigation. The Matrix has attacked me. A few months before their arrest, <laughs> I was in Romania trying to get access to their so-called secret society, the War Room. The War Room is the most powerful network on the face of the planet today. This is definitely a hit piece. I don't signal. care. The real story We've clearly conquered the internet. Began years ago. There's not a single female complaining. Do you think there's not a single no, no, no. female complaining? Have you seen one? Tell me. <laughs> Is that true that you sequestered an American girl? It's not even pretty. It's girl's average. She's ugly. I don't have time for this bullshit. What about the rape accusation? That's not true. Hello, hello. Good to see you. This place Ew. is giant. Why does anybody think he's attractive? Like the shirt unbuttoned halfway down. Ew. I kind of like cars. I can tell, yeah. This door leads to... I can't take you in the class. It's just such an unoriginal thing for a rich guy to be into, isn't it? I've never heard that as, as an interest before. Being into supercars, wow. If you're making millions from a scam, at least spend the money on something fucking interesting. Collect Victorian wedding dresses or something. Exactly. Buy some fake Guinness World Records. Yes. That's what you need to do by Twitter. <laughs> Absolutely. I was four time kickboxing world champion. And what's this painting over here? Ugh. That's my brother. Who else lives here? Oh, did someone paint that? Some poor artist got commissioned. Boxing world champion. To and paint this that. Painting over here? To paint That's Tristan Tate holding, holding a fucking iPhone 11. <laughs> why, if you're going to have a portrait painted of yourself, why have one where you're sat on your phone? <laughs> that doesn't look cool. Why is he not like smoking a cigar or something? I, I don't have loser friends. I like sitting down with people and discussing how we can make money from the conflict in Ukraine. That's what I enjoy. I don't want to talk about TV. Hi, by the way. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Matt. Georgia. Georgia, good to meet you. What are you up to, Georgia? Working. Oh, Work is this Georgiana? One of his jizz lanes, shall we say. Okay. Working. Okay. What? <laughs> so we literally pushed pushed him away. He was like, don't talk to her. Georgia, good to meet you. What, what are you up to, Georgia? Yeah, she yeah, she literally got arrested along with him. She was sat there in the in the prison van with him. She's been arrested now as well. Working. Okay. Working. Working. Okay. This is uh The woman I'm trying to speak to, Work. Georgiana Noghel, would also later be arrested with Tate in December. Yeah. Georgiana, two coffees, please. Accused of assisting him in his human trafficking operation. Jizz Lane. What are these guys up to? Conquering the world, my friend. Through what means? I run Hustlers University, which is now currently the biggest online educational platform in the world. We've grown <laughs> extremely fast. We have 110,000 students. It's definitely not. That's definitely a lie. <laughs> the number one problem with the world is that not enough men walk around their houses with swords. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, that's up there for sure. Because if more men walked around their houses with swords, so many of the world's issues could be fixed. But a woman panics, she sees something on TV. The man comes home, she's like, oh, you go, we gotta start wearing the mask, da, da, da. If the man walked around with a sword, <laughs> and she's like, put a mask on, he'd be like, I'm brave, I don't need a mask. I'm a commander. This man is broken. This man has been broken by his abusive father. It, he really has been. You need a sword lying around your house to impress women. Why? What are you gonna use it to do? I don't know. You just need to, you just need to have them lying around the house. This is. You got your sword, your wife starts talking. You're like, shut up. I decide what I do. Be quiet, cook. I accept an invite onto the Tate Brothers podcast, Emergency Meeting, which is also a chance to get acquainted with his brother, Tristan. Andrew's invited his mate on our show without my consent. I'm just gonna have to <laughs> bite my tongue. You know what we hate doing things without in the Tate household? You know you know what we really respect in the Tate household is uh, consent. Have you ever seen the clown that hides from gay people? Uh... <laughs> what? Have you seen No, him? I haven't seen you the haven't. clown that hides the gay people. So you've never seen him? No. What, are they streaming this live on something? Is this some like weird right wing, oh, I've been banned from everything else? One of them platforms. Have you seen no, him? No, I haven't seen him. Haven't. That has the game so home. you've never seen him? No. Strange. Is he here somewhere? Strange. Well, yeah, he's right here. I see him. I see him. Does he Does he actually stream on Rumble? I didn't know that Rumble had the uh, technology to do live streams. I'd be surprised if it did, to be honest, looking at the website. But does it? Yeah, they definitely pump their numbers on. What does, it, what does that mean? Does that mean it's got 69.66688 people watching it? 
and 6.909 people have liked it. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, is it meant to be a comma instead of a full stop? I, d I don't believe those numbers at all. I'm s what the, no. He's been live for 37 seconds and he's already got 62,000 people watching him. I don't believe that. These numbers don't make, what the hell? Is this rumble? This makes no sense. During an ad break, Andrew breaks character. I'm 30 second break, check the shit. Another five minutes and we'll get you out of here. You can talk, you can talk shit back. You can annoy us if you want. Don't worry, no, I know. I'm just not very good at it. I'm not very good at talking shit. <laughs> We've had a long career. We have to do um, our normal broadcast. Okay. Kick him off the pod. Cool, man. Have fun, guys, yeah? Bro, this is going to be the worst documentary about us. What are they going to say? What are they going to say? <laughs> they, they knew that he was coming from Vice, right? They, they knew what was going to happen. Why do they have a random mannequin head? Andrew first appeared on our screens as a reality TV star. I've never been in this situation in my life so far. This is Big Brother. Due to events in the outside world, Andrew has had to leave the Big Brother house. He was reportedly removed from the program when a video surfaced- You mean due to events in the Matrix? ...of him slapping his ex-girlfriend and then beating her with a belt. Hey, you stupid bitch. I didn't say the word listen. Did I say listen? Did I say listen? No. Did I say it? Public outrage simmered down after Andrew released a video of his ex. I've seen this like video in its full glory and it's absolutely disgusting. I, I originally saw it when I researched my Manosphere video and I, I honestly couldn't stop thinking about it for like quite a few days afterwards. All part of a so-called kinky game. It was just pure game, it's just what we used to do. But what the public didn't know and what we can now reveal is that around the time that Andrew was playing Truth or Dare in the Big Brother pool, the UK police had informed the production company that he was under investigation for two incidents involving other women, one of rape and a further of physical assault. In May 2021, Tate made reference to his arrest in an appearance on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I was like, who are you? And they're like, you're under arrest for a suspicion of assault of this dumb hoe. And I'm like, I'm like wait, this is dumb hoe? <laughs> they didn't oh, oh, it's so funny, guys. These are all just jokes. Like, this guy's like 36 years old. And he thinks calling a woman a dumb hoe is like the peak of comedy. During the same period, the Tate brothers were recruiting women for a webcam sex business and creating the first of their many online courses, teaching other men how to do the same. It was called the Tate PhD. Also, I've just realized I've completely exposed myself. I wrote Vice YouTube into YouTube. <laughs> Let me just get rid of that. Did you at one point say that the girls who started as your girlfriends and then worked for the webcam industry, 100% of the profit goes to you? I think in a lot of households in the world today, the man is in charge of the investments. I think that's not an uncommon thing. It's not an uncommon thing for in households or the man to be in control of the investments. What the fuck does he even mean by that? I don't think it's a common thing for the woman in a household to be doing the actual labor and work and for the man to be in full control of the money that the woman brings in. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a common thing. You would prefer younger women who are 18 or 19 because you can leave an imprint on them? No, when I say leave an imprint, I mean that. It's, uh, you, I, I understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that like, if I get her, I can brainwash her. I'm not trying to say that. If you meet a girl who's 22 and you're her second boyfriend, she's probably like a nicer person, less jaded, less upset, <coughs> less suspicious. Less jaded, less upset, less suspicious. Read more naive. So you like to be in a position of power? It's not being in a position of power. It's about, I enjoy to show her amazing things. You're trying to attach things to the situation which aren't, which aren't true. Five years. It's, so, it's such a fucking beta thing though, isn't it? I can only deal with women who are like 18, 19 years old. To not be able to deal with a woman who can handle herself. Although it has actually come come out that they were, that they were bringing in women that were as young as 16 years old. Point I'm trying to make is the best way to prevent yourself from being raped is to have a degree of personal responsibility uh, and not put yourself in positions to be raped. As opposed to standing there saying that rape shouldn't happen because <sighs> or men raise our boys better. You know what else shouldn't happen? Robbery. I want the freedom to walk down the road with a million dollars in cash. So how does this analogy even work? Women shouldn't be able to walk down the road being a woman. 
because that's the same as a man walking down the road with a million dollars of cash. Just simply being a woman and walking down the road is the same thing, apparently. So women should literally not go outside. The desire to walk around with a million pounds in cash to someone wanting to just walk around their own city at night. Well, fe female beauty is extremely valuable. Of course, female beauty is extremely valuable in the eyes of men who seek to exploit it. The webcam industry has prevented more male suicide than any <laughs> group of therapists, any action group, any charity. What? Ever, right? Again. Andrew, where's your empirical evidence? I'd fucking love to see your studies. You never just make things up, do you, Andrew? Is that true? How can you measure that? Well, I, it's not about measuring, it's about my personal experience. Oh, of course, it's anecdotal! Anecdotal, baby! There's not a single female complaining. Do you think there's not a single no, no, no. female complaining? Have you seen one? Tell me. <laughs> Andrew says no woman has complained about him personally. He won't let us speak to the women who work for him. So for now, it's difficult to verify this claim. No one will complain. Well, can we ask the ladies? No! Andrew's views represent a new era in modern misogyny. Start talking to some bitches, saying me and my man were fucking. Where you can now not only talk openly about subjugating and objectifying women, but doing so actually garners millions of committed fans. The most hardcore of them have traveled here to Romania to join the war room. Only four, four, nine, seven dollars, guys. Of course it ends in a seven. First red flag of a scam. The price of it ends in a fucking seven. This inner circle is not happy that I'm here. <laughs> I Fuck off, mate. I welcome you all to the test. There is a cage fighting event and every single one of you has been paired against a professional fighter. You will fight in the cage on national television and it's a real fight. There are two paths you can go down. You can agree to fight, or you can decide that it's not for you. Maybe I'll do a yes, just to learn a little bit more of what happens, and then definitely pull out at some point. At the center of it all was Andrew's right-hand man, <laughs> Iggy Semmelweis. This guy, he's a hypnotist, priest master of Wudan Monastery, the greatest hypnotist the world has ever known. Here I will share with you my secrets. <laughs> He's the <so> <laughs> What the fuck was that? Sorry. They got the CGI artists in for that one. That didn't really, ha he didn't really have flames fly out of his hand. Was Andrew's right hand man, Iggy Semmelweis. <laughs> you will learn the power of hypnosis. Uh... And seem to have an agenda that expanded beyond the warum itself. Fucking hell, guys, he can teleport. I don't think they use CGI for that bit. I think he I think he actually teleported. He alphaed himself that hard. Then he teleported. You will learn the power of hypnosis. And seem to have an agenda that expanded beyond the warum itself into something larger and darker. Your sons will marry their daughters. Your daughters will marry their sons. What? I this got weird real fast. Extremely fast. This is the war. <laughs> Just like that, a third of the room decides to get beaten up for Andrew Tate. What happens to the people who said no? <laughs> They're doing something slightly different, describing the reasons they didn't do it, how that affects their life as a whole, whether they're gonna make any changes in the future to be more ready for opportunities. That's where honor comes from, right? From victory. Oh, One of God. the men who said no. This is just, this is the exact same as a cult. Do we need some sort of like regulations in place to decide when some sort of club crosses the line into cult because this this is definitely crossed the line like i know this is in romania so like it doesn't matter anyway but like does there need to be some sort of regulation in there all we have is cult bingo absolutely we should do we should do stream cult bingo why did you say no i have been in the ring before but just sparring but i was like fuck professionals and russians like they they, they guys are serious i was just too scared so then afterwards i felt bad about myself and i was angry at myself. I love how like clearly most of these men have been like, yeah, you can include me in this documentary as long as you blur my face out because I'm a little bit scared of being identified as being being in the Hustlers University. Hurry 
alpha male of them, isn't it? To be scared of being identified. Interviewing under the chaperone's supervision is proving restrictive. Yeah. No, no fucking, no alpha craziness. He's a bit of a, he's an animal, this one. Who is this mysterious chaperone anyway? Hey, man. Man, how are you? Good, good, how are you? Good, like wow. most Warham leaders, he has a sports car. Do you want to do the interview in here? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't see why not, man. And like most people with a sports car, <laughs> He's keen to show it off. He's right. They're always so fucking desperate to show them off. Like, especially to women. I've been in this situation before where a guy's <laughs> wanted to show me his fucking sports car. I don't even fucking remember what it was. I think it was a Maserati something. But we were like in central Manchester. Like, all we had to do was like go from A to B within the city centre of Manchester. We didn't have to go far, but he still insisted on driving 80 miles an hour on these like central streets of Manchester. Absolutely, completely pointlessly, just to make a fucking point. It was so pathetic. There are many clips of him out there saying, I'm not a misogynist, I provide for my women, I would stand up for my women in a violent situation. What do you think his detractors would say about, for example, what you just said, the phrase, my woman? Do you think that they would consider that to be misogynist? The phrase, my woman, for me, ties into the very traditional values that we have. Andrew's well known traditional. for talking a lot about- Read misogynistic when someone says traditional. His multiple girlfriends. How does that tie into this idea of a traditional relationship? Mm -hmm. Men at certain levels can provide for multiple women. And even we can go back a uh, hundred years ago, kings, you know, wealthy men, they would support multiple families. How is that a bad thing? I probably don't have to say this, but it's a, it's a problem when you have one sex making all of the money and the other sex making less, less money or no money. Why is that a problem? Because it creates a power imbalance. One of those genders reliant on the other gender for basically everything. That creates a power imbalance in society. The women who I know who are most fulfilled in life are not trying to do the things that traditionally men used to do. Oh, what about a God. situation where- Here we go. Anecdotal evidence again. We fucking love it. just popped into my head. The women in his life that are currently being abused. That's all the evidence you need, guys. You don't need empirical evidence. You don't need any of that. All you need is anecdotal evidence from the women that you are currently abusing. That's all you need. All of the men in this room seem to be taking this incredibly seriously. What's your, like, goal for the fight? Of course I'm gonna try to win. But while they come forward to gratefully take the beatings they've paid thousands of dollars for... You're here to lose a little bit of blood. Andrew Tate's future on social media is hanging in the balance. And the public backlash is spreading. Whatever's going on behind the scenes, watching me get chased around puts a smile on Andrew's face. <laughs> I've never seen him smile like that before! <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely a breaking character. That is a sleep paralysis demon right there. I am gonna wake up in the middle of the night, unable to move, and that is gonna be sat at the end of my bed. I fucking guarantee it. Holy fucking shit! Takes him to get stripped to the ground. Oh and there's gonna be a ground and pound finish. Oh, but that is it. The referee calls him on that. While the men who chose to fight are paraded in front of the crowd. Andrew's team shamed those who refused. How the experience was, how it's gonna change your life, and if you have anything to say to the people who didn't fight. <laughs> I don't think I have any word of advice for the people that didn't do it, except that you should have probably. Immediately, he went to check on me. I'm thinking, I wanna go train, because I felt inadequate, right? So yep. that's what I wanna do. I'd love to get back here a year from now and go to the gym of the guy who beat the shit out. I feel like the only good thing that these men get out of this experience is, maybe I should go to the gym. Did you really need to pay four, four, nine, seven dollars to be told, maybe you should go to the gym? You can even find free workout plans online. Did you know that they're free and they're online and they're free? You don't need Hustlers University to do that because everything else in Hustlers University is literally pointless. It's a pyramid scheme of affiliate marketing and it's stock trading. <laughs> Going to the gym, I think is a good start, you know, for, for self-improvement. The rest of it is bullshit. It's complete bullshit. Do you consider the possibility that some of the things that you've said, which have been viewed 11 billion times, yeah. 
may lead to an attitude towards women that could be harmful. I accept that across all of that viewership, I have perhaps, possibly, maybe said one thing, or maybe two, that has upset a large range of people. Wouldn't it make sense to just apologize for some of the things you said, acknowledge that they have caused harm, and say that you won't say those things again? No, and I'll tell you why. I'm not gonna apologize for the edits of other people. I'm not gonna apologize for the misunderstandings of other people. There's a whole bunch of clips people are making which make me look very bad. That's not good for my life. There's a whole bunch of clips that make me look very bad, made by people who are working for me within my pyramid scheme. The clips that portray you in a negative light also help the algorithm to make you become more famous and more viral. I'm not an expert on algorithms for social media platforms. I do not have most of them installed on my phone. I cannot control what a 15-year-old Singaporean decides to do when he chops me up and calls me names. I can't control that, and I wouldn't try to. Of course he wouldn't try to, because that's what's making him money. Why the fuck would he shut that down when the misogynistic shit's what's making him money? One thing that stands in the way of truth, for example, is when we often do documentaries, we have full access to speak to anyone we want. No, but in this documentary, we've been very closely watched yeah. by the Sartorial shooter at Alpha Wolf, m picking who we can speak to, you know, monitoring the interview. Yeah. What is it that you're worried that we're going to find out? This, this question is a star, though. This, now this is <laughs> low. <laughs> it's low. We let you in. We tried to take care of you, and I you're sitting here and just attacking us for three I, hours, bro. The world is at so alpha. I fucking love it when he can't answer a question. Deflect, deflect, deflect. It's like with Hassan. He's like, "You're boring, bro. You're boring." Very alpha, Andrew. So, so alpha. Being able to be interviewed and being asked the most basic of questions. So alpha. Asking these questions, and the viewers will be asking these questions. It's the consistent leading questions, the consistent, consistent narrative. Where's the question about the good? Like he can't even say that himself. He needs some some fucking other guy to say it for him. Well, there's a very clear narrative. I need to leave. Okay. I can't deal with an alternative narrative. Oh, I can't deal with it. The days afterwards, Tate is banned from YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, to the protest of his fans. But then. He reappears on Instagram with an emoji covering his face. You're lost. You understand you're living inside of a mechanism which is designed to control you. It's clearly not him. to Dubai, converts to Islam. That's a rabbit, guys. Sets up a new bank entirely owned by him and oh. rebrands the Hustlers University as the real world. <laughs> In the first month after being deplatformed, he made $11 million and got 250 million views on TikTok alone. Elon Musk reinstates his Twitter account and he gains 1 million followers in 24 hours. Do you think the writers of The Matrix really regret what they did at this point? Do you think they really regret it now? 24 hours. I have no criminal charges. There's no charges at all against me. I have not hurt any women. No women are coming forward saying Andrew hit me. But when we get back from Romania, we finally managed to speak to some women from his past. I always knew, even from back in the day, there was always things said bad about him. But when I'd seen him again in 2013, I thought, oh, all these rumors about him are going to be false because he's actually been really lovely. The first time I went around his house, because before it was a, like maybe three, four times we have gone on dates, we started to make out on the bed. Out of the blue, he literally just stopped what he was doing and just laid back. He said, I'm just contemplating whether I should rape you or not. And I promise you, within an instant, he changed. He just jumped straight on top of me, grabbed my throat, started suffocating me, strangling me. The more I didn't want to, it made him so much more aggressive to the point where he was pinning me down, hurting me. The things he was saying to me, he was like, who do you belong to? Who do you belong to? And the more I couldn't say it, the more he'd hurt me. So I couldn't see an escape. And I, at that point, I just gave up. I just gave up. The abuse wasn't consensual because he knew I didn't want it, which he confirms in multiple voice messages and texts to me. Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Are you seriously so offended I strangled you a little bit? You didn't fucking pass out. In all the women I've ever slept with, not a single one has ever bitched or complained like you are bitching and complaining now. She also decided to report the incident to police, who logged it. Here we go. Here, that, now's where we learn about how fucking completely incompetent the UK police are when dealing with sexual assault cases. I got a phone call 
from a police officer from Hertfordshire Police. She said to me, we have two other girls that have come forward and said the exact same thing as you. Would you please be willing to come onto this investigation to make this case stronger? And without any hesitation, I said yes. Me and the other girl, we would sleep in the same bed with Andrew, but at this time, the girl had a partner, so she was not interested in Andrew at all. And I had gone to the shower, I came back, and I noticed he was... Like, I saw him raping her. When um, Andrew was arrested, we were taken in for a proper interview, and it kind of just got left. I would send emails asking them to update. I'd hear nothing back. When we reached out to Hertfordshire Police about this, they had this to say. We acknowledge that there were some delays to the investigation. This was addressed at the time and apologies were made. The decision to prosecute based on the police's evidence would be up to the Crown Prosecution Service. Unfortunately, they turned around and just said, oh, we can't continue this case anymore. It's just insufficient evidence. The Crown Prosecution Service said, in this case, we carefully reviewed all the evidence provided by the police regarding each complainant and concluded it did not meet our legal test and there was no realistic prospect of a conviction. It did not meet our legal test. But didn't they literally have those voice notes at that point as well? In the UK, only one in a hundred reported rapes result in a charge, let alone a conviction. A text from a man to a woman saying, I love rape you. Um, I know what I do to you is abusive and controlling. To CPS, apparently, that's not enough. The Romanian investigation into Andrew Tate and his brother finally led to an arrest on the 29th of December. The Matrix has attacked me. His followers are obsessed with the idea that the Matrix is conspiring against him. But if anyone in the story is the victim of a conspiracy, is it the multi-millionaire celebrity? Or is it the women who claim they were abandoned by the system? Another thing to point out though, is that in the UK, we've been dealing with this Tory government for like the past decade and they have been cutting everything including the cps they're incredibly underfunded and they have been for a long time so that leads to shit like them only taking on cases where they have literal hard evidence you could possibly kind of argue maybe that this is hearsay hearsay even though you have voice notes and text messages from the guy who literally did the of him admitting to it, you could still technically argue, well, maybe it was just a bit of banter, you know. The, the CPS is so fucking underfunded that unless they have video evidence of some shit like that happening, then it will just get dropped. And it is the Tories' fault. They've cut everything. So the victims will literally voluntarily drop cases sometimes because they're like i want to move on with my life i don't want to be this rape victim anymore i don't want that to define me anymore so they just drop it and they move on because of the underfunding you want prince harry's penis now okay prince harry's penis is coming very soon don't worry <laughs>